start off by saying I'm a huge, huge fan of The Last of Us. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're kind of a child prodigy. I mean, you started working at age six, you were already in a ton of shows, and you left high school by age 15. So, and uh, I graduated, of course. So, I was wondering, uh, you know, what defines you as far as uh, being a voice actor and an actress, like on this kind of show? What are the obstacles that are different from being a voice actor and actress? process of, you know, just your appearance, and, and you just have a little bit more involvement sometimes, and, uh, but they're both, I, I love working in both of them so much, so there, I, I would have a hard time picking one over the other. Do you guys watch yourself uh, after takes? After takes? Well, we don't have playback on set, Most, I think mostly so that we keep things moving, so... So, I mean, yeah, we don't yeah, watch yeah. ourselves. No. We had, we had like, the, the, in the beginning of the show, you know, because, like, tweeting, live tweeting during a show is, well, like, a thing now. <laughs> so it's kind of, like, part of the job sometimes. So you kind of have to watch it, and that is the one time where I do get to see the episode. And it is actually kind of nice to have a distraction. So I'm not watching it, and thinking, oh man, that was terrible, or <laughs> done that differently, you know, because at least you're just on your phone and kind of halfway watching, but um, yeah, that's probably the only time I actually see the episode. Yeah. Yeah, but not, I, I think for me, I would prefer to not watch it on the day of or after, you know, on right the after you do the take, right because I think I would just... But I wonder if you watched it, like, right in between. Like, if you watched the first take, if you were like, I'm going to make my own adjustment, thank you. I'm not going to make that crazy face again. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Like, I, don't, I, I wonder if I've never had be, the option. I I've might love option. it. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I could see it and be like, oh, I'm terrible. I'm just going to quit. I'm just going <laughs> to. Excuse me. I have to go home now. I'm going to leave. Yeah. Let's thank you, everybody. Yeah. Bye. I don't know. So I mentioned your character. Um, the nice girl who love Patterson. Like, every week we give you our MVP of the episode. But the question is, how much can they dump on one person? Is Patterson finally going to get through, like, a couple months of her life? I mean, the, will the time jump, like, give her a clear slate and time yes. to work through her drama? Yes, for sure. I think during the two years, um, obviously, the pandemic and everything has happened. But I think in that two years and Patterson leaving the FBI and sort of focusing on herself and not being in a job that's so high stakes and so dangerous. Um, she gets some time to sort of um, work on herself. And I think this season, at least as far as we've shot, um, she hasn't been going through as many traumatic experiences as the last two seasons. So whatever her missing miss is, <laughs> Oh wait, I love that. What do you mean by missing this? It's just a reference to the finale and that comment that was made. Wait, which one? Wait. Which one? Oh wait, in the lat like I'm just in the uh in the finale when they did the, the jump forward there was a comment, you know, why they were coming. Oh and us missing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh okay. yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. No. You guys are much further on. Yeah. No, but like oh, lit oh, we're literally missing though. 
Yes. Okay. I thought. I, I thought. Okay. I, I think I was like, oh, what a beautiful way to talk about like, like some emotional darkness. She's just like missing. Something it's like, a, like I was like missingness. missingness. Yes. I'm having some missingness. I okay. Okay. No. 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 Totally right. Question. Um, so Sakata got herself in deep in all kinds of things. Again, it's you know, it seems like the time jump is to her also the op. Everyone. Well, here's the complicated thing about about time is that you have enough time to make yourself better, but you also have enough time to make yourself worse. <laughs> so I think I think it, it's especially complicated with these two years because for the most part, the team, the family has been apart. So how they've been able to adjust or not adjust based on not being in this familial setting is actually complicated. And they've kind of, we've kind of all left and become these new people. And um, coming back together, being a little bit different is definitely an adjustment for all of us, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I did, I did, I did. <laughs> well, um, one of the great things about the experimental theater wing at NYU is that it's, it's an amalgamation of different trainings, but it's very much physical based. So it's, it's a very physical show, but I also like start a character kind of physically first. So it was really important for me to understand some, how somebody like Tasha moves and kind of sees the world. And that was kind of where I came at her initially. So it was very helpful. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, truth, <laughs> truth about my animal. So oh, like, no, every, okay, so everybody like went to the zoo and like did all this studying. People had like cool wol walruses, people were monkeys. I didn't feel like going to the zoo, so I was a house cat. But she Ooh. was epic, and they said she was like a Greek tragedy, which I'm very proud of. Ooh. <laughs> she was a very sexy house cat. It's, you know what, it's been so fun. I love working with her. I mean, she's one of my best friends, but it's so fun working with her because of her like, background research and everything. And because sometimes when we come to work, I'm like, how would you break down this stage? Like, I always ask her or questions. Well, or like, yeah, well, and, and now that we're in the third season, like, we just are trying to have fun with each other. So we're like, okay, what if in this scene, and we just were like, fill in the blank. We're like working on something new, trying something different to keep it active for us as well as fun for the audience. Oh, it's fun. We've been having a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I know for me, it's just meeting the cast. Same. I mean, I love Same. the cast so much. And, you know, I know so many actors say that. It's, you, you work with so many amazing people, but I just really, really love this cast. And we are such a family. And yes, the days are hard. And, um, but we do have a good time. And we also hang out when we're not at work. And eat crazy. too much. And drink too much. It's just like all the libations. Yes. <laughs> so we have a really, really good time. Yeah. Do you want order? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you.